Hello everyone, bonjour and welcome here. Today I am going to be painting this stack. As usual, I start with a blank canvas, just filling in the spaces, using different tools and different techniques. My favourite, some drippies, and here I'm using some stencils. All I'm doing is getting things down on the canvas. Turning the canvas round, using different size paint brushes, sponge brushes. Trying out different stencils. A lot of it is a learning process where I'm just seeing what works, what I like, and most of this gets covered up anyway. So at this point I've got no idea what I'm going to paint and I'm just looking for something that's going to jump out at me, kind of give me some ideas. I work a lot through intuition and I'm waiting for something to pop out. So I started to feel like I was in the forest or some sort of jungle, but no, more of a forest. And so I got this idea to add this kind of drawing this stag image. And you'll see as we move along that I start to kind of add an impression of trees and foliage. And then I start to pull out this idea of the stag. I really like to turn my canvas around so that I can work all over. And as I keep turning, I keep kind of seeing different things, things I want to add, things I want to take away. And here, true to myself, I'm adding a little bit of collage, which I often like to do in my paintings. And another of my, one of my favourite techniques, which I probably say in every video that I do, is making these drippy marks. I really like this kind of swirly whirly. You can see I'm using, a, except for a bottle of ink, I'm using this pipette to kind of suck the ink up and drip onto the canvas. But here I'm using it kind of as a, as a pen or pencil, making these swirly whirly marks. Kind of like tree branches. I think you find drippies in probably most of the paintings that I do. It's probably my trademark. Here I'm using this lovely shocking pink to kind of bring forward this flower shape that's in the forefront. Adding a little bit here and there. There, I had some pastel down, and I think maybe Caran uh, pastel, where you add water and then it kind of blends in. I really like that effect, and I really like to use some 
throwing in some drawing in between the painting layers. I haven't done absolutely, absolutely everything. There's a lot of painting in here. But there are a little bits that I add when the camera's not switched on. Working in on this kind of foresty, enchanted feeling, trying to get the stag in his environment. And this idea of a stag has been on my mind for a while. I didn't know that it was going to come out in this particular painting, but it happens. Um, last uh, summer I was walking in the forest in the mountains and I stumbled across an antler left by a stag and was really, really, really excited. Rang my daughter, told her all about it and then continued with my walk and found a second one. So I had two antlers from this stag, which was, you know, I've been looking for years and years and years trying to find one. That was my day. It was my really, really lucky day. So I found two, not just one, two. And so it's been in my mind for a while and, well, he decided to come out in this painting. And it's really strange when you get to analyse your work and where it came from and this painting really brought back memories of my, of my dad. He would have been 90 this year and he absolutely loved nature and I grew up with a painting of a stag hanging on the wall that my parents loved and um, I don't know it just uh, brought back memories of that memories of walking miles and miles trekking with my dad used to up hill and, and down dale taking us on adventures and I don't know this painting just brought back all those memories Oh, sorry, so with all that talking I, uh, about memories, I missed showing you while I was adding oil paint, doing some layers, some glazes with oil paint and adding some oil paint at the end to give them really vibrant colours. And here I'm just finishing off with some gold pen. I really like putting gold in my paintings at the minute. I always think that when we see some animals, some wild animals, out in nature, I always like to think that they're trying to give us some kind of secret message. My spiritual side coming out. So here I'm signing this one. Uh, ready for going straight into an exhibition actually here in my local town There's a little close-up And I decided to call this one messenger of light already in the exhibition, well we're hanging the exhibition just making sure everything's even and straight. Messager de Lumière in French, obviously for those of you who don't know, who haven't seen any of my videos before, I, I live in the south of France. And if you have made it to the end, or almost the end, then be sure to give me a little thumbs up. You can subscribe so you can get notifications of any new videos I put out. I do appreciate it. And leave me a comment if you've got any questions. Bye for now. Au revoir.